today in Senator Clayton Heath's Committee of Judiciary and Labor, Senate Bill 2123 was unanimously passed. Senator Heath was very concerned about the cost of IMEs and that it should be objective and fair. And we appreciate what Senator Heath has done to move the bill out unanimously and moving to the next committee. For many years now, the IME bill the independent medical exam was not really an independent medical exam. The insurers paid for it. The insurers chose which doctor. And this swung the pendulum towards the insurance carriers. And what happened was every time they would come out with a final decision, the injured worker would challenge that decision by putting in a program of five doctors and choosing from them this sort of stops the challenge. Once both sides agree on a doctor, and when the doctor makes his decision, this should limit or stop the challenges and make it more efficient and less costly. Senate Bill 2123, uh, DLIR. Time circumstances will set on our testimony and be available for questions. We do have a few concerns. <coughs> okay. Uh, Barbara Craig, uh, in opposition, DLIR was in support, by the way. <coughs> he heard. She just walked out. Uh, HGEA. Senator, I just want to hear questions. Okay, in support. Uh, Randy Ferrer from State Fed in support. Is Randy here? Oh, um, for the HGEA testimony, we'll stand on our testimony. Okay. Uh, ILW. Uh, <laughs> 142, Joanne, support. Uh, BIA, Gladys, in opposition. Hawaii Insurance Council, Janice Fukuda, in opposition. Shannon Alivado, where's Shannon? Is she here? Hi, Shannon. Hi, good morning, Shannon. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. George, uh, Boy Ali Ali. Uh, because of time constraints, we support. Okay. Uh, Mark Sek Sek Nun, Property Casualty Insurers Association in opposition. So you see where this is going. Marlene Silva, yes, sure do. Uh, Hiko, Hiko, is Marlene here? Uh, is Melissa here, NFIB? I'm Melissa. Okay. Uh, uh, Society for Human Resource Management, Hawaii. Yes, I'll testify. <laughs> Hello, my name is also Melissa. Um, good morning, committee, senators, vice chair, chair. Mm -hmm. So, um, my name is Melissa Pinnell, and I represent SHRM Hawaii, the Society of Human Resources. And you've heard a lot of testimony, but um, we are very invested in this bill because we don't just represent the employers in Hawaii, we also represent the employees. And we have 850 members in SHRM statewide. So we tr truly have the best interest of employees and employers at mind when we're talking about this bill. We want to represent that balance. And as HR professionals, we clearly see that this bill tips the scale in favor of the employees and making that balance uneven. So we strongly oppose this bill, and we have we submitted our testimony so you can see more details as to why we oppose it. Questions for Melissa. Okay. I have I have a few questions. I, I'm a little concerned about uh, your characterization that this tips the skill for employees. Uh, the bill uh, is a, a, a departure from present law, uh, but uh, would you would you agree with me that the bill proposes to balance the process of injured <coughs> workers by um, by having an independent medical examiner? Uh, agreed to by an uh, injured worker as well as the employer. Do you agree with that? No, because I don't think that necessarily is the most efficient way to go about it. Because That's as what I asked you. Yeah. Well, as the bill stands now, um, the employee does pick their first examination doctor. Yes, but I said the present system, where the employer is the uh, sole determiner of the <laughs> independent medical examiner. I believe because the present system is currently working and we're not seeing a lot of headaches or anything coming up <coughs> there, but again, as our testimony let me, states... Let me restate the question. Okay. 
Do you agree that in a court of law, the plaintiff and the defendant are entitled to pick jurors yeah. on a... Absolutely. Okay. Do you agree then that, uh, uh, that under the present system, the employer is the sole uh, selector of the independent medical examiner? After the first exam, yes. Yes, you agree with that. Yes. Okay. Do you understand the bill uh, as presently drafted, as you indicated, uh, allows for a selection of five of which the employer would pick the f uh, three of the five and the employee would pick two of the five and if they could not uh, agree that uh, it would become a ratcheting down process where the employer's last selection would, would prevail under the present bill. Yes, that's how it's stated. Are you opposed to that? I believe it's not. Yes, we are opposed to that. Um, one of the reasons is the time frame. We don't think that 45 days allows enough time for everyone to get medical reports, examinations, everything completed on time. I also don't know that every employee is equipped to pick at least two appropriate positions. Okay. And so, you know, some people aren't aware of their options. Okay. They have language barriers. Okay. There's a lot of those issues. So I believe how it stands now is how we'd like to keep it. So that's why Sherm opposes introducing okay. new legislation. Okay. I don't have any more questions for you. Thank you, Melissa. You did a terrific job. Yes, she did. Okay. <laughs> is there anyone else who wishes to testify on this measure? If, oh, oh, I didn't see you. Uh, Sorry. We submitted a sure. testimony. But, okay. Uh, let me guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, let's go right, right into. In oh, Dennis, I'm sorry. I meant to. Okay, I meant you. to call you. You, you are. Your, your testimony did come in on time. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was rattled by Melissa's testimony. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's uh, let's DM this thing as we go along. Uh, the first thing I'm doing. Senate Bill 2123 relating to workers' comp. Uh, the House bill is moving, but uh, and, and it's a little different from this bill. Um, uh, they tilted it, with all due respect, with Melissa. Uh, the five, we really, they tilted it to employee versus employer. This one is employer versus employee. Three employer, two employee. They went three employee, two employer. So we'll balance it by keeping it as it is presently. But we will defect the date. I believe this bill will go to conference. And so, uh, with your uh, consideration, members, the effective date as an SD1, uh, we'll keep this thing moving and keep working on this. Uh, any discussion? If not, Chair Votsai. Vice Chair Votsai, Senator Gabbard? Aye. Senator Galatieri? Aye. Senator Carl Excuse, Senator Solomon? Aye. Senator Smolensky? All right. Thank you, members. We'll go straight to session. Yeah? Thank you.